Our time and back for the episode of Minecraft Constructed. Uh, in this episode, as you can see, I've already got myself set up a green sphere because I'm going to be actually making uh, Doom Guy's helmet from the most. Uh, I know it's from the recent, more recent Doom that just came out recently. And to be honest, this I think it looks pretty cool. But the only thing is, there was not much to work with, considering that you're always looking from like the first point of. It's always looking at the first point of view, as the all Doom ga Doom games have been so far. <coughs> Sorry for that. So, this was a lot harder than I expected it to be, considering that I've never worked on a fully fleshed out 3D model, especially. Well, I, in second thought, I kind of have and kind of haven't, so I make mistakes here and there, and I'll be skipping a, quite a lot of this, uh, quite a lot of the footage out, only because. There's so much that I've got here that I end up going back and deleting objects and then replace placing them all. I would admit that this isn't the greatest Doom Guy helmet I've. Uh, I don't even know if anyone's actually tried to make a helmet like Doom Guys in Minecraft, but I would admit that it's not very li uh, lifelike. I would say, considering that I'm working on a sphere and most helmets are circular anyway to fit over your head, but. I found that with my helmet that I got at the end process, it ended up being too squished and it needed to be a bit more uh, extruded vertically so that it fit the actual design of the helmet. But I, I do my utmost considering that I'm not the greatest builder in the world, but one day maybe. But other than that, yeah, it takes a while. So yeah, I'm probably going to not be talking as much in this one because... Most of it's really self-explanatory, as in, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to explain considering that I'm just building a helmet from just an image that I've seen from the actual gameplay, so it's harder again. I'm only trying to uh, flesh out the actual size of the helmet itself at this point, and I pretty much do that for the majority of the time, including even when I get to like a point where I start creating the actual visor itself, like the actual glass one. And the framework for it, it ends up being a little bit, um, yeah, repetitive. Isn't it? I'm just going back and forth, breaking blocks, and can't get kind of boring. <clears throat> so I'll just cut up to a point where I've actually got a fully proper designed looking helmet shape and stuff. I guess you, you it's probably, you'll probably see it when I, when I finish the video. Well, you know, when I finish breaking blocks in this fast forward version. But anyway, yeah. I'll skip to that right now. So as you can see, I've already com pretty much completed the framework or like where I'm going to actually create the visor, but to be honest, when I was looking at the image compared to what I created in Minecraft, again, it looks a bit squished, it should be a bit more wider. So I think I end up going back around and destroying some of the blocks because as it stands right now, it's a bit too small. I mean, I need to make the visor actually bigger because I'm supposed to be building onto the um, actual sphere itself, not breaking it. So I think I actually go around and using pretty much the exact same technique I always do, with putting black stained clay to make it seem a bit more hollow and open. But then I, I think I quickly realised halfway through, um, not at the point right now because I'm still destroying blocks like a dumbass. <laughs> I think I, I actually go back and then delete those ones and replace them back with the same green blocks I just destroyed. There you go. Because I want to actually put down the actual layer of green the actual glass visor itself. I'm, I I really wish there was darker or a darker type of green like this, but the other type of green was too dark and it doesn't look like a visor. And I was like, yeah, no, I'm not. That. So yeah, now you see me just going back and deleting all the glass that I just put down. And basically I just delete every single block that is visible from the front. So it basically that the silver blocks on the outside act like an outline of where I'm going to put glass in the future. I mean I, sh I could have actually just replaced the actual uh, blocks I'm smashing down with the glass. But I, but I didn't really think of that until now actually. So. GG Jeremiah, what are you doing? You could have made it easier on yourself, but anyway. So yeah, I'll end up destroying those blocks because I don't need them. Else up there, there so I could have just left this actually completely hollow as it is. 
like just lift it open to make it look like an actual visor. But, yeah, no. This kind of, to be honest, this actually looks like more like a Kirby Doom power up instead of an actual like. Well, I could have just given it actual just feet and given it arms and maybe some eyes in the background, and that would have made it look like a Kirby Doom guy. Who knows? Be kind of interesting to see. I might end up doing that. But maybe who knows? As of me making this video and editing the track, the audio track, I don't really think I'm going to have time to do that. Considering that, uh, here's a quick sneak peek into the future, I'm actually going out on a family reunion this upcoming Friday. So this will be released on the Monday here at New Zealand, which I don't know where you guys hail from, whether it's Australia, America, Europe, or wherever. But anyway, whenever this video comes out, there's a May here in New Zealand on the Monday, which will be... 30th of March, time stamping this like no tomorrow, uh, <laughs> yeah I'm going on a family review on Friday, don't worry I'll keep the videos up to date, I'll probably just have a few of them scheduled out and just find a cafe or some internet area if I ever get the time to do so, who knows I might even just have them scheduled up and ready to go before I leave on the Friday, but anyway yeah you can see I'm placing down a lot of this, a lot of the glass and then just breaking it or trying to figure out a proper shape and size for the actual visor because when I look at the image it, obviously it's the 3D model it curves and curves in Minecraft especially like spheres and anything else like that it's very I find very difficult to like call it, portray considering you're working with blocks and it is somewhat a lot harder to make it look as realistic as possible but you know a bit of practice and one day i'll probably get to a point where i can do that with great fitness and power why i don't know why power is there why the hell did i say power mm, who knows now i'm just talking out of my ass right now uh, but yeah i'm just gonna cut this out because it's pretty much repetitive um, i was only leaving it in because i'm still talking but yeah i'll cut this out and i'll yeah. <laughs> Awkwardness. Don't know what to say. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Now, what you guys didn't see while I was cutting out this part, I just made the actual visor a bit more wider just so that it ended up fitting the description. Now it was from time for me to actually work on like these little vent type things. This and I, I noticed that on the top of the actual Doom Guy's helmet itself, there's like this little vent at the top. I don't know what it's for. Whether the guy's bald or actually has hair, I actually don't know. And obviously I wanted to make sure that like at the front where his mouth was, there's like a, a vent type thing for like, it's like a mask that I like to filter out all the toxins and gases. I actually don't know what the actual purpose is, but I'm assuming that's what it's for. But I was just trying to get the like general type of like ventilation gas mask that is based off the image from the actual game when he first puts it on like very early and I think it actually worked pretty well I ended up putting doing the same technique again putting black stained clay behind it so it actually looks a bit more dense a bit more fuller so it's not so empty because I didn't like it being so empty like that it kind of wet and I also noticed that it went down a bit further but I think it was kind of hard to like portray that because there was also like vent gas things or pretty much think of like Samus Aran's like helmet with those little pipes that come off the side that go back into helmet somewhat it was pretty much the same like thing almost kind of but it was not like just a straight pipe it was still somewhat connected to the actual base of the helmet itself which I ended up working on quite after this, so there you go, I've got the front like vent completely around his mouth, although I think it's a bit too small. So I end I think I end up making it a bit more bigger so it ends up being a bit more you know more human like because obviously to try and breathe through a hole that big, I don't think it's possible. It could be possible, who knows? Yeah, I think it turned out alright for that. Uh, then it was time for me to work on the actual vent on the hood itself. I had this kind of like arch looking thing to it, so I had and since slabs didn't cut it because these were like vertical lines I had to use like fence uh, fence posts that was the next closest thing I could get to it so there that's what it kind of looked like and I just covered up the black stain clay so it kind of looked like that almost but without the actual bars connecting them horizontally together it was just the vertical lines but there was no like just simple vertical beams I could put in although I could have used those 
no, I don't think they are because there's two and a half blocks high or something ridiculous like that, which is kind of annoying. But never mind. So yeah, there you go. I've got like the vent on the top. I've got the vent around the mouth. And honestly, seriously, this really does look like a Kirby power-up instead of an actual Doom Guys helmet because you change the some of the green on the back to like pink or something like the fit Kirby's design. Maybe you can get away with it. Who knows? I maybe just uh, who knows? I might do that at one point. Who knows? Seems like a really, really good idea right about now. Mm, I don't know. So yeah, now I'm actually working on those like little side like pipes that are somewhat embedded already into the helmet itself, which I think it looks pretty, pretty cool. I mean, shit, it reminds me of, I said this before, like Samus Aran's helmet. So yeah, I just had to diagonally go up and go back at the same time by like two or three blocks or so, so it's not too sharp, not too you know, bold, because I think I do end up trimming it down somewhat, because it seemed a bit, like, out of place at one point, but yeah, you can just see me just adding those on, and it looks amazing, yeah, right at the end, I just trim it down to at least two blocks from the actual original sphere I started from, which I think was just what I, just what I needed, I think I do end up still deleting some things, but I don't know, who knows, so yeah, now I'm actually just building up on the actual layer itself, and adding in some like little because that when I looked at the mask it had like this like very small vent like things on the side it wasn't it's not, it's not exactly noticeable but it's like bevel embossed type thing or type of feel and I think it looked a bit more accurate we're having just you know a, a tiny bit of like oak wood there so that actually I think this looks pretty cool as it stands I mean honestly I just give it some feet and give it some arms it would look like Kirby, I must think it would. <laughs> pretty cool though. Damn. And I'm pretty sure there was also some vents on the side just behind where the visor's barrier, where I put down, I think, polished andesite. I'm not sure. I think and I ended up fixing that up as well, just to give it a bit more design, because having it all just green on its own just didn't look right. So yeah, you just see me just adding a few touches here and there. I really wish I had something to do on the back of the helmet, but I couldn't only because there's not any actual images of the newer Doom Guys helmet that actually has stuff on it. There is like a, a number that I wish I could have put on there that's in white. I think it was like 807. It has like a hyphen in it based on the image, but obviously I can't actually make it that big because if I could, well then take a lot longer a lot longer and this is meant to be a shorter video series not a big long one but who knows maybe one day in the future I will end up making bigger and larger scale type things but for now I'm starting off small so just you know not gonna push jump myself in the deep end to be killing myself with sharks maybe that'd be the new thing I make tomorrow no not tomorrow next time but yeah there you go there is the doom guys helmet it's not to scale Obviously, it's just a sphere with stuff added onto it, and I think that looks absolutely fantastic. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, so I end up, I think I fill up these holes and do that. So let's just scare. Oh, no, 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 we don't really need to scare, to be honest, because it's literally, I'm just filling up holes. And I think I do the same to the other side. But anyway, yeah, that. It's pretty much the entire build. I, I really wish I had a bit more on the, behind it, on the back of the helmet itself. But considering that I don't actually, you don't actually see the back of his helmet, it's not exactly, you know, helpful. Oh, uh, not exactly a complete build, but it's as complete as if we're gonna get it. I mean, I could just put my own stuff in there, but I want to stay true to the image I'm basing it off. So there, yeah, that is Doom Guy's helmet. I think it looks so good. So good. Obviously, again, could be squished to actual fit the scale itself, but you know, uh, as things go, it's kind of unfortunate. But anyway, yeah. <sighs> now there's that awkward. Oh wait, no, hang on, I'm still doing stuff. Oh shit, I thought I'd be ending it. Oh, okay. I'm basically putting in black stain clay behind the glass. Let's just get this out. Nah. So the guy adding the black stained clay on its own didn't really change much, it just made it a bit more thicker glass. You can't exactly see through it, but not that I really need to. So yeah, just deleting those elements. So yeah, there you go. 
That is Doom Guy's helmet. Pretty self-explanatory. I don't really need to spin around to show you because the only thing that's really important is the stuff that's in the inside. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Constructors. We are, uh, I don't know, who knows? This could be about seven minutes long. I'm not sure. I've got quite a bit of editing to do to move all this out. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll speak to you. Bye. Same, same one every night. Ever. Wait, Lotus! <laughs>